So this week has been space week. So we started with a drawing of Marvin, which I never finished. I need to finish this. We did um, a, a futuristic city, like a space city. And then we did our space collages yesterday. So we are all about space. So today we are adding in an alien. <laughs> so the cool thing about aliens is that they can look like anything. There is no wrong or right way to do an alien. Aliens are really abstract. They're whatever you want them to look like. So depending on what kind of materials you have to work with, um, you can make your alien however you want. I thought that I might try my best to do a Marvin, just because I've never done a Marvin before. So I'm actually gonna put my drawing of Marvin next to me. And I'm just gonna try using Model Magic, which is kind of like clay, um, but it dries really nicely. So I'm gonna attempt to do a Marvin, but your alien can look like anything. In fact, does anybody have any good suggestions to what could you could add to your alien? For instance, like I know that I'm gonna add an antenna to my alien, or I know that I'm gonna add a uh, horns to my alien. If you have a suggestion like that, go ahead and write it in the chat. So what are some things that you could add to your alien? Horns, um, a uh, like uh, long hair that's like snakes. Um, does your alien have a robot arm. What are some things that you could add? Ooh, I see some th some aliens that have three eyes. Ooh, that's a cool one. This so one I made, it, I made it like when I was like four. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. So an alien that has more than more than two eyes, too many legs or heads. That's a good one, Esme. Anybody else have any other ideas on things they could add to to their alien? Scales, you could do, um, you, can, you can think about animals or insects and combine a couple of animals or insects. For instance, like you could do like the body of a horse, but with wings, kind of like a pegasus. You could do um, a, a butterfly, but with, um, with arms and legs. <laughs> I don't know, you could you kind of, you, you, can, you can make it up. I see wings. Yeah, you could do wings on your alien. You could do, what else? What are some other things that we could add? Any other ideas? Not sure? If you're not sure, that's okay. So I'm gonna try to make Marvin. So I'm just gonna start with his sphere, sphere head. So I rolled a ball. I've never made Marvin before. Ooh, multiple eyes, yeah. So you could do multiple eyes. You could do um, antenna. You could do instead of a your maybe your your alien is like a robot. Maybe it's a robot alien. Totally, it doesn't have to be a true. Um, it doesn't have to be a true, like humanoid. <laughs> an alien could be an insect. It could be a giant. Uh, I mean, a Marvin is de designed after an ant. It's as if on another planet, instead of humans becoming the dominant species ants took over. <laughs> so the ants rose to become the smartest, most dominant species in, on, on Mars, <laughs> which is, I guess, where Chuck Jones was thinking. Um, you could do like a bunch of different, a bunch of different places. Like, so just thinking about what kinds of details could you add to your alien? Is, it, is your alien like a dinosaur? Is your alien like a reptile, a reptile, like reptoid? <laughs> is that a word? Reptoid? Does your alien have, um, uh, does your alien have, have like, well, I'm trying to think. Does your alien wear shoes? Does your alien have, uh, what are some, help me out, Scott. I'm running for, I'm, I'm, I lost to try, uh, ideas. Like a beak, <laughs> like a bird instead of a Thank mouth? Thank you, yeah. Does it have a beak? That's a good one. Alien. And and dress differently, maybe. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Ooh. I'm I'm working on trying to trying to do Marvin's helmet. <laughs> I 
I have no idea what this is going to look like. I'm going to attempt to do a Marvin first, and then maybe I'll do a, um, I'll use some color pencils and I'll, or, and I'll do another example. Let's see. Maybe they have eyes on the back of their head. Ooh, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Does your alien live on a different world? Does your alien like a, like live on like a water world? If it lives on like a water world, then like does it does it have like fins? Does it swim? Does it have gills? How does it breathe underwater? Does your is your alien like a scary alien? Is it like does it have like rows and rows and rows of teeth? Or does your alien is your alien more like a friendly alien, like the alien from a Toy Story? I don't know. These are all questions you can think. Is your alien like an octopus? Does it have like uh, tentacles? Maybe your alien is like a plant. Maybe your alien like is like a, it's like a, maybe it's like a Venus fly, fly trap plant that eats, that eats uh, people. <laughs> Depends on if you're, if you have a scary alien or a happy alien, a friendly alien. Maybe it moves around like a snake or a slug instead of ooh, walking ooh. on legs. That's cool. That's really cool. I don't have red, so I'm trying I'm to make Marvin's body with uh, purple. I'm rolling out a torso for him. So I'm kind of working on his head. There's his head with his helmet. I'll add in his eyes in a minute. It's a bigger piece. Yeah, so it can if you're if you're confused about how to get started, like think about different animals that exist because the earth has such like a an abundance of crazy looking animals that you can combine some of them. Is it like uh maybe the maybe the aliens look like people, maybe they like they're human humanoid, but they instead of skin their their skin is like striped, like zebras. <laughs> humans with zebra striped skin or uh and and purple hair <laughs> big. Did, did anyone say wings yeah somebody did write wings oh and oh. somebody wrote like a sim oh uh esme wrote something about a symbiont re relationship masquerading as an animal as an animal oh. like algae that's deep wow no, I didn't know that, Megan, that on Mars, bacteria fossils have been found. That's really, I mean, scientists have speculated for a while that there was life on Mars at one point. A xenomorph. Yeah, good word. Shapeshifter. Ooh, yeah. Does your, does your, because your creature, like, shapeshift, does it turn from one thing to another? That would be really, really cool. That would be crazy. It had like a, a xenomorph style uh, and like alien. Bioluminescent wings. Ooh, like the, um, uh, like the algae in Newport Beach right now. I don't know if it's still going on, but there was all this bioluminescent algae in the water. It was making the water, the waves turn all this bright, beautiful, like blue colors. Too big. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, oh it is gone. It is gone now. Yeah, and they they weren't sure how long it would last for, but it was it was there for like at least a couple weeks, at least a week or two. It was cool. I'm trying to make Marvin's eyes. I gotta, his eyes are the most important part of him because 
like I don't know if I if you heard, but his uh, he has no other features on his face. It's just his eyes. So it means that his eyes are super important because they have to be extra expressive. A little too big. Yeah, does your alien have, um, does it, what kind of skin? Is it furry? Is it like scaly? Is it, what, yeah, what kind of, what kind of, uh, what does it feel like? What's its texture? You can add that in with, with pencil if you're drawing it in, depending on like what kind of, um, depending on what kind of, uh, like strokes you use with a pencil. Well, I don't know how expressive I made him. <laughs> Megan said tentacles. Ooh, tentacles, yes, for sure. For sure tentacles. I have to do the brush on the top of his head. I don't have any yellow, but hmm. Yeah, I could just use white. Can't wait to see what some of you guys are doing. I, I'm seeing, I see a kind of, so, so I, like, so you guys had some really interesting materials. Like people, I know somebody had fabric. That's a cool way to start. Tentacles, hmm, scales. I definitely want to do, one of my aliens is definitely going to be like an octopi type alien with lots and lots of arms and legs. So hi, Sophia. Hi, Emily. Hi, girls. What materials are you girls using to make your alien? Uh, I was using paper. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Have you thought about what your alien's going to look like? Yeah. It might be like scaly. Ooh, cool. And, like, and I'm going to erase these lines because it's just like where I want the eyes. Okay. But it might end up being like, I don't know. Maybe planets. Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be really I know, cool. I don't know what I want to draw for my alien yet, but I want to draw a little planet for he or she to be on. Ooh, you're gonna do the planet that, that he or she lives on? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, good I yeah, this I'm just gonna make it a moon. Okay. He lives on like a moon. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's cool. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else want to tell me about the alien that they're drawing? I'm curious. Laura has her hand up. Yeah, Laura. Okay. Tell us about I the alien. Like a um so like kind of like the classic alien uh it has Ooh. a very skinny neck small wings and octopi legs Ooh, oh yeah and that's, a unicorn. oh that's cool that's a cool yeah are you talking about like the the one that has like a kind of like uh, shape shape like this head is kind of kind of comes out like this yeah kind of and then it has Big eyes and then small Big eyes, eyes. yeah. Big neck, octopi legs, and the unicorn horn. Ooh, that's cool. It's a creepy, creepy, creepy alien. 
I like the unicorn horn. I actually found, so let me see if I can find the link. If you're interested, here it is. This was just posted just the other day. It's uh, the animator who, his name is Ben Sue, and he shows fans how to draw the Toy Story an aliens. I'll put it over here in the chat. So they, this was just posted, I think like two days ago. So if you ever wanted to learn how to draw one of the aliens, the cute little aliens from Toy Story, uh, the actual animator is going to show you how, which is kind of rad. So you can check that out. Hi, Nissy. Um, you, if you join late, we are just, today is like a, a, an artist's choice of material. So you can use any kind of material you want to make any kind of alien you want. And aliens are really open-ended because they can look like anything. So everybody here is kind of using different materials. Some people are using pencil and drawing, like drawing materials like crayons, color pencils. Um, some people are using paint. Um, I'm doing a model magic or like a little clay Marvin uh, for it to start. And then I'm going to probably do like a watercolor one or drawing. I'm not sure yet. Um, but you're using whatever kind of materials you have to work with to make any kind of alien that you can think of. So we thought about some of the types of features that you could add on to an alien like horns or wings or scales or uh, tentacles. And we just started, started drawing using the materials that we have. Hope that answers your question, Nisi. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody else want to tell me about the alien that they're they're working on? I'd love to see or hear about some of the some of the things that you're doing. Ooh, um, Kaden, Kaden, show us, show us again. Um, I didn't. I was just thinking how to draw it. I'm I'm just showing the example of where I got it. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, what is that? Tell me about that. Aliens. Those are just little, oh, they're like little, I see the aliens now. Ooh, little green, little green aliens. <laughs> Very cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Bless you. All right, well, um, let's see. I see the Nikita and Penelope are working hard on their fabric aliens. Got, this, got a glue gun going. Careful with that, girls. <laughs> Don't touch that glue. Um, let's see. Trying to think of some other features. So your alien could be, like I think I mentioned, it could be like a lizard-like alien, like a like a dinosaur. So like, what if what if the hum humans discovered an Earth or a, not an Earth, a world, a new a new world, and instead of humans. Um, uh, it was the dinosaurs still ruled the planet. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? Nope. Still working on my, my little Marvin. But yeah, if you guys are curious, Oh, Megan, you've burned your, your finger so many times. I know, me too, me too. I've burned my finger many, many a time with hot glue. Me too, it's not fun. <laughs> it's, it's like almost impossible not to, I feel like whenever you're using hot glue. There's just something about how sticky and like drippy it is. Your alien is round, it has horns, a tail, lots of legs and tentacles. Whoa, there's a lot going on in your alien, Megan. <laughs> cool.
No. The truth is, is that if we were to discover alien life on a planet, it would more than likely be like bacteria. Maybe, oh, that's a cool idea. Maybe your alien is, a, is like just a, like, a, like a bacteria. It could just be like, a, like a, something floating, like a, a tiny little, um, oh, what was it called? There was something, there's a funny name. Oh, it was like, I watched this, this documentary by Neil deGrasse Tyson about um, oh. the earth and oh, it was tardigrades. tardigrades. Do you ever hear? Tardigrades. Yeah, the tardigrades. They are these like, these kind of cute, they almost look, they're, they're super, super tiny and they almost look like gummy bears or like tiny little bears, but they're, they're kind of weird looking. But yeah, so they're called tardigrades and they can survive in um like they could survive in hot lava they could survive in sp in outer space so tardigrades would survive in a lot of different places that a lot that m that most creatures and, and bacteria and things can't survive so that's kind of a, a cool so maybe maybe if you're going realistic maybe your creature or your alien is uh a, like a, a, a tardigrade <laughs> like darth maul Ooh. Your alien looks like Darth Maul. Oh, like, cause yeah, it's got like the red and black face. That'd be cool. Yeah, you can think Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars is full of all sorts of funny aliens. All right, I think I finished his skirt. A little like, <laughs> he looks a little funny, but that's okay. I'm trying my best. There he goes. So I just need to give him some arms and legs with his sneakers and his like little, uh, he's got these little skinny arms. He looks a little confused. Yeah, he does. He's like, why am I in clay? <laughs> totally looks confused. He doesn't look ang as angry as I hope to make him. You can use a, a, a bobby pin instead of a dotting tool. Um, no, I didn't know that. That's cool. You, you can use a, I'm trying to think how, how that would work. Oh, to do like little, I see what you mean, to do like tiny dots. That's, that's a, a neat trick if you're, if you're doing small little dots. harder doing an alien that everybody knows and recognizes. <laughs> Be easier if you're doing an alien that was just made up, that it was your own. So, you know, Marvin only has three fingers and a thumb. Esme wrote a suggestion for you for Marvin's eyes. You should squish down the, the, the top edges. Yeah, you're right. I totally should. I should totally do that. Thank you, Esme. Good call. I'm just wondering how I can do that once it's on. Might have to like pull them, pull them off and see if I can, oop, a little bit. <laughs> I'm not happy with this, Marvin, but that's okay. Sometimes you make things and you're like, this is weird. Try to squish them down a little bit without mixing them up. Squish, squish, squish. All right. Well, he's got one little one little hand. Oh, there, on oh, his back right now. Thinking I was going to make him a little a little ray gun, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll see. I might just. Sometimes as an artist, you're like, this isn't working out. You have to start something new. Part of being an artist is knowing when things are working and when, when they aren't, and knowing and being okay with that. 
what is it? Bob Ross always says, happy accidents. So maybe, maybe it'll turn out okay. The work in progress, that's for sure. Little magic is so sticky. All right, well. Yeah, well, there's my Marvin so far. I gotta give him some really big sneakers because otherwise he won't stand. So does anybody wanna show me what they're working on so far? Yeah, let's see. Okay. So, um, well, this is. Aw, Penelope is so cute. Tell me about her or him. It. A flower for a nose. I don't know. Maybe it's both. Um, the <laughs> boy. A flower for a nose. Two eyes that are like, so like you can see one and then the other. Okay. Like kind of like antenna, and then like kind of feet like down here okay and, yeah that's kind oh, of that's it. cool oh i love the answer i love all the materials you used oh uh, i i need to i have i can't really stand up on its own but i have this so far it's a <laughs> it's a half and half so the the red guy <laughs> the red guy um, gets one half of its body, and then the other guy gets another half, and this side is only going to be green. This uh, uh, side is only going to be red. They Whoa. both get yes. And the reason I put a brown nose, it's it's supposed to be brown, because green plus red equals brown. Oh, nice color theory. Do they, are, are both sides, do they have the same um, emotions, or is one side, like, super happy, and the other one's, like, like super sad, or... Like, no, they're both they both the same emotion. The same emotion. Okay, cool. Can they both speak? Do they? Do they have different? Do they have different voices? Or different? Uh, are they different people? Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Nice job. I love it. Cool work. And they Does only want to share what they've done so far. Um, so I'm working on my alien. This is it. Some yeah. horns. Oh, wow. I love that horn. Look at that horn. That's awesome. And that tiny little thin neck. <laughs> so cool. Very cool. Here's Sophia and Emily. Yeah, let's see, girls. Um, mine turned out to be just an octopus with a hat, so. Oh, what a it cute little octopus with a hat. On the moon, well, not, and then I'm going to do the background. Oh, Here. super cute. I love it. This is my alien so far. I think he's going to be riding on the flying carpet. Oh, he, has, he has a flying carpet? Whoa. That's really neat. Uh, flying carpet underneath him. <laughs> Whoa, okay. That's really cool. He, he has a flying carpet. I like that that's how he gets around. Oh, what a cool idea. Yeah, you can think about like what kind of good, good, a good suggestion. You can think about what kind of transportation your alien has. Like, do, does it just it just walk? Does it fly? Does it swim? Does it like have a vehicle? Oh, if you want to do a, um, an, a UFO for your alien, be like, go, go right ahead. You can always do a UFO for your alien. Um, I just saw that Lily just, you just got here. So Lily, hi, welcome Lily. We're just, we're just doing, um, so today is a, a your own, use your, use your, using your own materials. You are going to create an alien of any of any type. So that could be a drawn alien, a, a painted alien. That could be an alien out of clay, an alien out of fabric. It's totally up to what you and what materials you have to work with. Okay. 
Um, does anybody else want to show it? Yeah, yeah, let's see. This is pretty basic. Ooh, that's a cool alien. Yeah, that's like a traditional, traditional, like, like spooky alien. Yeah, I'm going to add more stuff on it. I feel like he has a pretty big head. <laughs> well, that's okay. Maybe your alien just has, he has a big head. Yeah, it's going to fit that. It's, it's to fit that giant devious brain. <laughs> that alien, aliens like that, they always look really clever and kind of evil. <laughs> Here's Soren. Soren, you want to share what you're doing so far? Yeah, sure. Look at my Marvin. So, he friends with humans, and then his scores, and the humans give him a new scar, and then he goes back to Mars, and humans came for a visit, but the humans were invisible, and he was having fun with them, and then his just skirt just turned into pizza, and he went like, here we go again. <laughs> okay. And cool. Again. Edible pizza. <laughs> Like, Did you want to do another kind of alien or just Marvin? Yeah, no. no, I don't think I want to do another alien. No? Okay, no worries. No worries. Yeah, this Ms. Marvin's taking me longer than I thought he would, so. And it's also harder than I thought he would be. Yeah, Marvin's, no, Marvin's I pretty, pretty like, okay for to draw, me, but. For me, my Marvin was easier than my, so my first time I drew with you. Like, it would be really about impossible, but this time, it was super easy. That's awesome. Well, that just shows you that, like, practice. So that's what I always say about I art. Practice is practice like drawing him. This is actually my second time for real drawing him. I didn't even practice drawing him when, at home. So, yeah, basically, we. I just think I got better. I don't know. Yeah. Good. It's all about practice. All right, so here's my Marvin. I think I'm done with him for now. And I'm gonna try a, I wanna try a watercolor or a, actually maybe I'll just do a, a drawing. I'll do a drawing of, a, of, a, of a, an alien for the next one. All right. Does anybody else wanna share what they're doing so far? Yeah, I like the, I'm going to do like a more traditional alien for the next one too, I think. So like maybe a head like this, maybe some, maybe I'll do three eyes. I'll have an, an, an eye. Like to share. Yeah, let's see. I think she needs to turn her filter off so we can see. Okay. Okay. As, my, as soon as you turn your, your filter off, we'll sh um, I'd love to see what you're doing. Here's Esme. Esme. Um, oh, no, wait, what the? Well, that was my first alien. It's kind Aww. of, it's, kind, it's like a big hydromorph thing. I don't know. Okay. And then I'm doing this one. It's like, it, I don't have tattoos all over its face like Darth Maul. <laughs> oh, that's cool though. Yeah. Those are good drawings. Those Thank are really you. good drawings. Nice. All right. Nikita has her hand raised. Yeah, Nikita. Let's see, Nikita. Yeah, that happened to me. Well, just. Aww. Um, you're adding, you're adding only, to him. It only comes during Christmas. Um, it just, <laughs> it just lands on your face, or like somewhere on your body. It's like it's through up. a portal. Yeah. He only, wait, he comes through a portal only at Christmas time, and he lands on your face, and that's why he's red and green. <laughs> yeah. cool. And cool. he's wearing snowballs as his shoe. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> I like it. 
I like it. He's red and green. And he's just so fluffy. You just, you're like, who? <laughs> I like fluffy aliens. Fluffy aliens are pretty cute. And he's fluffy really aliens cute. are super cute. So I'm doing like a an alien. He's got three eyes. He's got like Dr. Spock like ears. He's got some rings around his neck. I don't know what his body's gonna look like yet. Still thinking about that part. Hmm. Maybe I'll paint him in. Oh, I think I know what I, I know what I'll do. He's got tentacles. He walks around here. Yeah, he climbs around on tentacles for sure. go. <laughs> Maybe he has like, like straight up like octopi tentacles with like the little rings around. So yeah, if you've already drawn, it's kind of cool to go back if you're if you're doing a drawing. Um, it's neat to go back and add in like little details to make it to either give your 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 alien texture. So like, Depending on what kind of marks you make, your alien can be hairy, your alien can be scaly, your alien can be um, shiny. Depend it just totally depends upon what kinds of marks you're making on your alien. So for instance, let me finish these little um, suction cups on his tentacles. But I think that maybe I will make part of him hairy. <laughs> I don't know yet which part. It's going to be a very strange alien. So he's, a, he's a happy little alien. Definitely a happy little alien. Here, I'll give him some like little arms. Maybe he has little, little arms. Oh, there's little, little arms that kind of come out like this. Maybe his hands are really hairy. So <laughs> he's got hairy arms, hairy hands. Okay. Maybe he's got details inside of the ear. So go back, it's like, especially with aliens, it's kind of all about the details that you add in. Looks like he's wearing a party hat. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's like curved like a horn. Pretty happy with that. I could go back, I could paint him. I could, I could color him in with colored pencils. Maybe, oh, I know, maybe he needs a badge on his like shirt. So he's like, this is maybe this is the, he's like, maybe this is like an ambassador. He's an ambassador from like Saturn. So his little badge, this is his badge on his shirt. Oop. I'm inspired by Toy Story because I think the little alien from Toy Story had a special little like NASA like badge. Intergalactic Space Federation, the ISF. I don't know. <laughs> Did you know that I know uh, that Marvin the Martian is actually on some of the? Oh, I have to look it up. He's on a badge somewhere. Let me find him. I, I can't remember if it's for NASA. Let's see. I'm gonna look it up. Marvin on NASA badge. 
Let's let's see part of Cassini. It was he was on something. I, it was I think it was at what I think it was um yeah it might have been the rover to it might have been Cassini. So Marvin the Martian. Well, no, yeah, and Dak. Oh, it wouldn't be no. Cassini was Saturn. Okay. Oh yeah, no, it wouldn't have been a Cassini then. So yeah, so Marvin was on, he's on a, a NASA badge. It actually, at the top of it, it says Mars Exploration Rover. And it was in 2003. So it was a while. It was the Mission Exploration Rover that was sent on special research operations to study Mars, which is, which is, Mar which is Marvin's home. <laughs> so yeah, so Marvin is actually on one of the badges that, uh, that they sent on a rover to Mars. <laughs> I love that. Isn't that great? So cool. Here's Sophia and Emily. Sophia, Emily, let's see. Okay, so doing the moon, which is used to silver sharpie, so now it's getting silvery. Here. Ooh, okay. That's cool. Nice, girls. And this is my alien so far, the magic carpet. <laughs> I love it. I love this little magic carpet. I love his little four eyes. <laughs> and the little tassels on the side of the, of the carpet. So cool. <laughs> I love it. Nice job. So I just pulled up a piece of, um, of a pipe cleaner. I'm kind of twisting it together and I'm going to see if I can make like a little ray gun. His name, I, his, I always forget the name of his Marvin's ray gun, but yeah, because it always has like, it's a really long, like the Illudium something. Q36 modulator. Thank you, the Q36 <laughs> modulator. You have to say it just like that too. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Nissy. Yeah, let's see Nissy. Okay, so this is mine. Whoa. That looks crazy. I like how you did the shading on the eyes. Oh, thank you. Very cool. That looks very cool. Thank you. I'm going to go. paint. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, does anybody else want to show their, uh, their works in progress? Here's Lily. Yeah, let's see. Let's see, Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi. So, Hi. this is mine. I only got here a couple minutes ago. Yeah, ooh, that's cool. That's very cool. I made him this little, I don't know what it is, but it's like some sort of transportation thing. <laughs> and then he just sits in it. Okay. Like this. That's, I love that you made him like a little, like, it's like a ring that he just like, does it float? Does it hover? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's very cool. Thanks. I love it. And now I'm going to make another one, but I yeah, I love, I love that you guys made, that you thought to make a, like a little UFO. But it's like, kind of, it's like a slime monster, but it's, uh, it's like a slime alien. But it's like super cute and nice. Aw, he's a nice, a nice he's alien. He's a slime alien because he likes to make slime. <laughs> Is he? Does that he just ooze slime everywhere? Yeah, and he makes <laughs> a nest. Oh no, he makes he, he makes a nest out of slime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I made. I made his little ray gun. I don't know if you can see. He has a little, a little ray gun. Pew, pew. Um, there's my Marvin. And here's my alien from the International Space Federation. <laughs> and I think that I can use some watercolors to, to, to color him in. I think that's what I'll do because I haven't used watercolors in a while. Move Marvin out of the way. Here's Penelope. Penelope, I'd love to see. Let's see. It's like a snowman with a tragic backstory. Or at least oh. that's what I'm what's his tragic story? 
Well, in my mind, it's pretty bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. The kids who made him um, made him poorly. Oh, no. Does he keep falling apart? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Very cool. I like that. Hmm. Anybody else want to share their works or works in progress? They're aliens. No? Okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just going to watercolor my alien over here. Let's see. I'm not using watercolor paper, so it might wrinkle up pretty badly, but that's okay. We make do. I like watercolors because they're a, like a, a fast way to color in large areas of color. Does anybody else want to share what they've got so far? I'm totally curious to see some of yours. I, I, I've only seen, I feel like I've only seen a couple. We have about oh, less than 10 minutes. So like nine minutes left of class. If you guys want to share what you've got so far. Here's Laura. Okay. Laura, so let's see. I'm going to fill in the background with this is what I have. Wow. That looks awesome. I was clearly inspired by yours because uh, mine, mine must be like a cousin to yours. <laughs> with the tentacles and the horn and the ears. Very cool. Very, very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Vienna and Victoria? Vienna and Victoria, I'd love to see. What, what have you girls come up with? Let's see. Oh, yes. Nearly finished. Come over here. <gasps> Whoa! That's so cool! Oh, oh my gosh, he's so cool. So wait, what did you use for uh, his legs? Uh, I rolled up magazine paper. Okay, and what did you use for his ears? Or his, like, the things coming off his head? Uh, maybe it's hair? I don't his know. His hair, yeah, sorry, his hair. Uh, <laughs> still magazine? Magazines. <laughs> I love it. And you use tin foil Except for the, the arms. Eyes, nose, and arms. Uh huh. It's tin foil. Um, That's so cool. I use Sharpie for the mouth. Very nice. I love it. What an awesome three D alien that you've made. Mm -hmm. Does it have a name? Or uh, it, yeah. no, not yet. No, no name yet. <laughs> I better ask some details. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. 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 We, have, we have one more detail to add. Whoa, let's see. <gasps> Is your alien a rainbow? Is it a rain rainbow alien? Uh -huh. Oh my Yeah. Oh and I like the little like um the little like uh germy like <laughs> like bacteria thing floating around on the top. He's so cute. I love it. What's, what, tell me about the clouds. What's inside of the clouds? What are they? Is it the mouth? Their mouth? It's mouth. <laughs> Is it the mouth? Oh, it's so it's two mouths. Mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What a cool, what a cool alien. It's so cute. Okay. Oh, wow. And look at all these cute aliens. You have like an assortment of super cute little alien drawings. Oh, Thank you. I love it. Really nice job. <laughs> All right, this Thanks is for so sharing. Much fun. Thank you. <laughs> have you Megan? Really, Megan? So here's mine. Doesn't wow. have a name, but he, there's pollution in the air. So whenever he goes to whatever planet has pollution and sucks it out. There. <laughs> what a useful little alien. I, we, need, we need one of him here. Um, I, his little teeth are so cute. <laughs> and so is his little tail with the little he's, arrow or the little triangle on the end. He's not really the neatest, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He, he does the earth. He does, he does planets good. Yeah. I love it. What a Thank great you. idea. I love that. Like a do good alien. <laughs> Thank you. So cool. Is there anybody else who wants to share? Liliana and Heather Rose? 
Yeah, let's uh, see how. Okay, so we both made yeah. quite a few. Okay. But, um, all right. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Okay, then go. Uh, here's my first one. Ooh, wow, the colors on that clay are really bright. He's so cool. He almost, wait, does he have a head of a dog? Or what, what kind of head is that? I don't know. It's just a round head. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. I like, he's, he has, he's super colorful. Nice job. Uh, here's my second one. Oh, he, oh, tell me about him. Uh, he's like this little, I guess he's like the little pet of the first one. That's what I thought. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's and, like a uh, Indian pet. Sometimes he gets carried around in this thing. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's really, really neat. That's a really cool alien with like, it almost has like a beak kind of nose. Very cool. I love okay. it. I love how you guys were using clay. You're mine. Yeah, let's see. Uh, here's what I was just working on. It's a little duck thing. It's a duck alien. Oh, but he has like a, like a ear or horn, like little horns or ears. Yeah, they're horns. Yellow. Cute. All the aliens I made with different colored horns. <laughs> Here's this person thing. Oh, he's really cute too. His horns look like like uh, like um, lightning bolts almost. I love yeah, it. that was kind of the aim. <laughs> Here we have this guy. Ooh, those are some cool tentacles. He looks like he's like out of like a character from the like uh if you've ever seen a nightmare before Christmas. Kinda looks oh, something yeah. like kinda looks like one of those creatures from the the Halloween land. And then here's the first one I made. Oh <laughs> neat. I love him. I love him. He's like, oh, with all of the legs. That's such a cool alien. I love it. You have like an entire little assortment. Very cool. So cool. Wow. Thanks for sharing, girls. I love your, that you did so many. Um, I see there's a couple more hands. Yes, um, uh, Esme, we'll come to you in a, in a minute, okay? Yeah, Caden, uh, let's see. Whoa. You did a whole world? You did a city? It's an Earth, an alien invasion from the moon. Okay. Oh no, are they, are they, they're, is that the UFO? They're coming? Yep. Are they gonna, are they, what are they gonna do? Are they coming, are they, are they here for in, in peace? Or are they here for not peace? Not peace, they wanna take no. over. No, so we do, we do not come in peace. <laughs> like, we do not come in peace, we wanna take over the earth. Oh no, why do they wanna take over the earth? Is their like planet the too crowded or small. something? Because the moon's so small, they just want to, they need a war. Oh. And, and then, then they want an Earth because it's the closest one than any other planet. Okay, all right. So they want the Earth because the Earth is a pretty special planet. Uh oh, we have to protect it. The closest one uh, to that, and they need more land and stuff. <laughs> Because uh, doctors, they need it because they want to get it more. Okay. All right. I like all the vehicles that you drew. I like the UFOs, and I see the helicopters. And, oh, he even broke his, like, shield. That's such a detailed picture. Really awesome. Really awesome drawing. <laughs> so and much going on in that. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So cool, Kaden. Really cool. Thank you. All right. We we have to go to someone else because we, we're running out of time. But I love what you did, Kaden. Um, let's see, who's next? Oh, Lorenzo. Yeah, Lorenzo, let's see. Okay, so I need to color mine still, but he, he's like the worker that builds all of Marvin's inventions. Oh, wow. That's so cool. What's it say on his badge? It says, that's where he carries his blueprints. Oh, his blueprints. Oh, of course, because he's like, yeah, and he's got like, he, he, does he have one in his in his hand with all the with all the little suction cups? Yeah. So cool. I I love all his arms and his little and his little UFO <laughs> and his like space belt. 
Very rad. Very rad. Thanks for sharing, Lorenzo. Thanks to Soren. Okay. Let's go, Soren. Let's see. So I decided everybody's having a food fight. And so this wow. guy got splatted by a banana. And then this guy has a giant banana and he throws it at Marvin. And Marvin's <laughs> already got splattered by two bananas. And then he got splattered by catch ketchup. And I don't <laughs> like ketchup, but I'm this guy who's holding ketchup and splattering it at Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Ketchup as a weapon. All right. I like it. It's a food fight. <laughs> yeah, it's a food fight on Mars. Food fight on Mars. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Esme, let's see. You're welcome. Should we go back You're to Esme? Yeah, we'll come right back to you as my take your take your filter off and then we'll we'll uh we'll Sophia see. And Emily. Sophia and Emily, let's see girls. So I made so I made the sun and the shooting star. Uh-huh. And this dog is on a hoverboard that actually hovers above the ground. Whoa. What a cute little dog on a hoverboard. <laughs> and the and the little hat. octopus with hat a hat. <laughs> oh, that's super cute. It reminds me of the book. <laughs> oh, I love that he has a, his own little like pet. Pets are important. Uh, it reminds me of the book. Uh, Have you seen my hat? <laughs> Have you ever seen that book? But it's it's super cute. Your little character reminds me of the character from that book. So, I love it. What an awesome alien. Let's see. It's mine so far. Yes, with his with his magic flying carpet. Awesome, awesome work, little little four eyed alien, little four eyed alien on the magic carpet. <laughs> All right, thanks, girls, for sharing. You're welcome. Uh, hi, Esme. Let's see. Ooh, good coloring. Oh, there's the like the Darth Maul like one with like all like the like the zebra pattern stripes on his skin. So cool. Very cool. I like it. Nice. Thanks for sharing, Esme. All right, There's Lily, Lily, let's see. So, we already saw this one. Yes. And then I made... Whoa. And then mm -hmm. I made this guy. <laughs> and for like, his vehicle, he just... Uh -huh his hands to take off his head and he puts it in the middle and this is his little pet. <laughs> I love it. He's like a donut. He's a donut. He's a donut in a donut hole. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he gets around and is that like a little hover a hovering so ring? He usually goes like that and then the little arms turn into like how he steals it. Cool. Very cool. Very creative. I love it. But I still need to make, oh, and then I made Stick Man. Stick Man. <laughs> and this is his vehicle. Okay. But I still need to make his pet. Oh, I love that he has, I love that they all have little pets. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Super cute. Nice work. Really Thanks. nice work. Very, very creative. All right, last call for sharing. We ran over today. Any, anybody else did not, who did not get a chance to share who would like it to uh, share their finished work? No, nope, I think that's everybody. You guys were so creative today, especially using all these, all these like, different materials. I was really impressed with how, um, how all of your aliens came out and how creative they were. Oh, I see Nissy has her hand raised. Did you get to share, Nissy? Let's see, let's see real quick. Okay, so this is mine. It's, it's in progress. Ooh, it's a very pretty alien with like some red hair. Aw, Do, does she, where does she live? Uh, well, I don't know. Okay, I think <laughs> she lives on Mars, but she's rivals with, um, What's it called? No, with Mar she works with Mar Marvin the Martian. Okay, cool. And, All right. Uh, so they're trying to. I hope she can convince him not to destroy the Earth. 
<laughs> oh, she's on his side. She's trying to. Uh oh! Oh no! <laughs> the Earth is doomed. <laughs> cool. Thank you for sharing, Nissy. Thank All you. right, guys. Um, awesome job. Really cool. We will see you next week. Classes will be posted tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, awesome creative job, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.